Welcome back to PSIS Tech Bytes. Today, I want to talk with you about the new Presence API introduced in Microsoft Graph uh, under the beta endpoint. In fact, using the Presence API, you can now read the presence information about uh, the currently connected user, so the me user, or about any other users, as long as you have proper permissions to access that user, or of a set of users uh, using a specific endpoint to query the presence information of a collection of uh, users by ID. When you get the information about the presence of a user, you get back the uh, availability of that user. So uh, the user is available, is busy, is do not disturb, is away, or be right back. As well as uh, you can read uh, the activity information if it is available. So for example, you can see if a user is presenting uh, some content or something like that. In order to be able to access the present API, you will need to have uh, in your uh, Azure Active Directory application uh, the permission scope for present.read or present.readAll, which are new permissions introduced uh, uh, with Microsoft Graph in order to support this new capability. So, as usual, let me show you in practice how you can use it uh, through the Microsoft Graph beta endpoint. So this is the official documentation page uh, for the Get Presence uh, API action. And as you can see, it is available under the beta endpoint of Microsoft Graph and uh, requires a delegated access token for work or school account with presence.read or present.read all permission scopes. And right now there is no uh, way to use an application only access token to get the presence information. You can query the slash me slash presence to get the presence of the currently connected user or the slash users slash ID of the user slash presence to get a presence uh, uh, information about a specific user. And in the response, uh, you will get back the availability as well as the activity of the user. What does that mean? Well, if we go to the presence uh, uh, resource type, we can see that the availability is the well-known available, idle, away, and uh, all of the other availability statuses that we have, while the activity can still be the same or can even be presenting or out of office or in a meeting and stuff like that. So uh, much more information, much more detailed information about the uh, activity that the user is executing uh, uh, re related to his or her availability. Moreover, there is a get presence for multiple users action that you can use, uh, and it is under the slash communications, let get presence by user ID, and you will have to provide a collection of IDs for users. So the information are based on the team's uh, availability and present state that you can find uh, documented uh, still on docsbikeshop.com. And just to give you an idea, here I have the Graph Explorer. I have to switch to the beta endpoint, uh, and I can make a query for the presence of the currently connected user, for example. And I can see that I'm available and the activity is available as well. I can uh, switch to Microsoft Teams. I can change my availability, for example, to do not disturb. And if I will go back and query again for my availability, as you can see, now I am in do not disturb mode. Or I can switch back to uh, busy, for example. And if I will query it again, I will be now busy. Moreover, I can query for the uh, presence uh, of another user. In order to do that, uh, you need to make a query providing the ID of the user. So let's say, for example, that I want to get the availability of one of my colleagues. I will first of all query the user to get the unique ID of that user. And then I will be able to say user slash ID slash presence to get the specific information about the availability of uh, uh, and the presence of that specific user. Moreover, I can make a post request using the uh, uh, action to get the availability of a set of users. So slash communication slash get present by user ID. And I will have to provide a collection of IDs in the body, uh, JSON body request uh, of my uh, query. So I will provide a collection of IDs, which will be the ID of uh, the previous user as well as of my currently connected user. And again, by making this post request, I will get back the availability of uh, uh, many more users. So this is just to give you an idea of how you can use uh, the API. As usual, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.